we started this company two years ago, almost two years ago, and um, with the idea of creating an ice pop over again. The most famous ice pop was 50 years old that year and we were like, well, it's just been kind of the only ice pop for 50 years, so it should be, uh, it should be changed. We start with the designing process, so we make uh, sketches of, of the, the form we want to make. And then we design it into a 3D program on a computer. And then we print them with an Ultimaker. And after we've done that, we have our home-built vacuum former and we make plastic molds with that shape. And then uh, we make our recipe and uh, take them out again when they're frozen and package them. Yeah. Yeah, mooi. <laughs> what we really like about Ultimaker is that they, they believe in open source and open innovation. When we realized that big companies couldn't help us make the molds and we had to do it ourselves, it was basically because the shape that you need to make the molds from was really expensive um, because they make them out of aluminium. So we thought, well, perhaps 3D printing could be a good one. I think if Ultimaker wasn't there or it didn't exist, we probably wouldn't have thought of the idea of 3D printing. And also didn't give us the opportunity to be so flexible because there are a lot of labs around town that have Ultimakers and uh, we have one ourselves now, but it gives you a flexibility to make a new ice pop shape within six hours if we really have to. <laughs>